Hello there, Norman with iSaveTractors.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to disassemble your large Briggs & Stratton Flowjet carburetor. In order to do this, you're going to need a few simple tools. The first one being a non-tapered flathead screwdriver like this Briggs & Strat Stratton tool. This is Briggs tool number 19061. Uh, what makes this unique from a normal screwdriver is the slot on the end is perfectly straight. It's not tapered. That way you can remove the emulsion tube without uh, stripping it out. So you're going to need one of those. Need a simple adjustable wrench and a Phillips head screwdriver. Now the first thing you need to do to split this carburetor apart is to remove both the high speed adjustment needle and the emulsion tube that's inside. In order to do that you take a wrench, turn it off, and you just unscrew. This is your high speed adjustment needle. What's inside here is your emulsion tube and that's where you use this special non tapered screwdriver. Now this is a brand new Flowjet carburetor that iSaveTractors.com sells, but this uh, procedure will apply to any of the old original ones as well. Here's the emulsion tube. On the iSave Tractor Flowjet carburetors, we've added a little neoprene washer right here. This goes between uh, the emulsion tube and the body of the carburetor. This helps create a tighter seal. In the original design there was no washer here and the Flowjet carburetor relied on the mating surface between the emulsion tube and the body of the carburetor to create a seal. Uh, sometimes that mating surface wasn't perfect and then you'd get that notorious leak uh, down through this area. So we've uh, fixed that with this neoprene washer. Now that you've taken the high speed adjustment needle and the emulsion tube out, we can split the carburetor. First you remove these four screws right here. Now that those are removed, you can give this top a little tap. This is a new carburetor, so this gasket's on there pretty well. Just give it a nice gentle little tap to get it off of that seating surface. This gasket's a little stuck to the car body, so we'll just gently stick something in between the gasket and the car body to get that out. And there it is. Now we've split the carburetor into two pieces. You can take the float off by removing this p float pin. You might need a little uh, set of tweezers here. I have a big set of tweezers. Pull that out. You can remove the float and the needle, remove the gasket, and this is uh, as far as you typically need to go to do a routine carburetor cleaning. Now to put it back together, all you have to do is uh, reverse the process. When you put your emulsion tube back in, just uh, be really gentle, and if you ever have to adjust any of the adjustment needles, you want to be really careful too. If you turn this adjustment needle in too tight, you can actually leave a groove on the end of the needle where it meets the emulsion tube, and if you leave a, a groove there, it's going to throw off your jetting, so you want to be really careful with that. So that's how you disassemble uh, a Flowjet carburetor by Briggs & Stratton. You can buy uh, our reproduction carburetor of the Briggs & Stratton Flowjet by visiting us online at isavetractors.com. Uh, we also sell a lot of parts for your old Kohler K-Series engines, Tecumseh, Briggs & Stratton, uh, Wisconsin, and Onan engines as well. Thank you for watching.